mom calls me. She's like, all right, I just went down to the front desk. And I was like, did it? I was like, what took you so long to get? It was like, that was like 25 minutes ago. She goes, yeah, I stopped on every single floor and walked around every, I walked up and down each and every hallway to make sure your dad wasn't high sleeping in his underwear. She in thought I was in my underwear walking around the hotel. I mean, look, granted, drugs does do that to some people, but you're not those people. <sighs> no. I'm walking around in my underwear? Well, you're a grown up. You're a pretty professional drug user. Thank you. Like, I, I will give you your flowers for yeah, sure. You're, man. you're a pretty well kept, kept yeah, listen, together drug user. Fucked up and walking around in my underwear. That's not my MO. We are in Phoenix, Arizona. And we only had one show on Friday night. But if for those of you who have seen him live or us live, you know that Friday night late shows, he does mushrooms before he goes on stage. Proceeds to do them. It's a great time. He's way higher than he thinks he's going to be. Because usually you and I have a scale, right? So mm -hmm. we can weigh out how much he's going to take. He just pulled out a mushroom and said, how much of this do you think I should eat? And I was like, you should just eat like the upper third of it. And he did. And we let it kind of ride out. I ate we, half. You ate more than it? I ate a half of it. Oh, you were definitely fucked up. Oh, I did. That's what I mean. Yeah, yeah. And so on the drive back, first of all, the drive back was great. Because I'm driving me, him, my mom, and Iman back, my girlfriend, in this giant Tahoe. And uh, I've been telling you for years, or for the last three years at least, that you would love Iman's music taste. Because yeah. it's so eclectic. It's got a little bit of everything, but it's all bangers from yeah. all different decades. And she's playing music, and the first song she puts on was uh, uh, "Everybody Wants to Rule the World." And right as Tears it went, fears. yeah, and right as it went, do 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 do, you went, you went, mm, I love this song. <laughs> <laughs> I do. Yeah, I know. It was fucking awesome. I had a Tears for Fears poster in my room when I was growing <laughs> up, dude. Hilarious. Are you kidding me? <laughs> but so uh, we uh, we were, <laughs> you and I were laughing about that when we got back to the hotel. Um, but we drove back and, and we're all like hanging out and then we're up in the elevator and I was like, you're going to be up for a little while, aren't you? And he was like, yeah, probably. And then another one of my favorite parts, we were standing in the elevator and as the elevator started to go up, you lost your balance. Do you remember? Yeah. Oh yeah. And he just like, but he like kind of just like on one foot, just kind of fell into the door of the elevator as we were going up. But the best part was he never lost eye contact with me. So I just watched his face do this. Yeah, as you like, as you drifted, it was like. Can I you tell were, you, you what happy? the best part about that, guys? The big, the we're not getting on this. Is that legit? The only part of my body that hit the elevator door was that my head. Yeah, I yeah. didn't put my hands out. I didn't duck in with my shoulder. It was such a slow it was fall. A slow too. fall, and, and my head just went. Gunk yeah, loud, yeah, dude. Yeah, you didn't make a correction. <laughs> I felt like a toddler. Yeah. I didn't put my hands out or anything. Oh, my God. And so I went up to my room, and we, we went our separate ways, and uh, I had called you. I was like, I'm probably going to go get some food. Do you want something? And you said, nah, I'm not getting up anymore. And I was like, okay, cool. And I went, and we got mellow mushroom pizza that mm -hmm, night. Mm -hmm. Got a buffalo chicken pizza. Fire. Super fire. And um, I take a couple edibles, and I go to bed probably around 1230. And I wake up at 2.40 to my girlfriend nudging me saying, hey, your mom is calling me. And I was like, what? I was like, I was like answer, answer, answer. And she, I put her on speaker. And she's like, hey. I'm like, what's up? She goes, sorry to wake you. Um, she's like, but, and then don't be alarmed. And I was like, all right, I'm up. What are we talking about? She goes, but your dad's not in the room. <laughs> and I was like, <laughs> I was like, What? She goes, yeah, he's not in bed. He's not in, in the little couch suite area where the TV is either. He's not in the room. And I was like, all right, hold on. Let me check my phone. And I checked my phone. And the only text or communication I have from this high-ass man is a text at 1241 a.m., 11 minutes after I went to sleep, that said, are you up and do you have food? <laughs> <laughs> and so I immediately, I immediately go, well, he might have been hungry and was walked down mill. Yeah. But then also, I'm not going to lie, my brain started to go a little bit. I was like, he is the weakest human alive when he's high. 
I hope he didn't walk down mill by himself in his Jordan in his Chicago ones. Let's explain high as shit. What drift. you mean by that? Like my when my dad is high, he can't even open a bag of chips. Yeah, my like, my strength is sad. His awareness, his social awareness. No, well, well, which high? My, mushrooms. I'm. I'm. Just, mushrooms. You're the most aware person of all time. Yeah, I'm. I'm also. I'm ready. To, I'm. I'm like, ready to mingle. I'm like, ready to chat. Like levels of ten, you're at a thirty-seven. Yeah, like, I'm ready. To roll. Like mushrooms. Alert, alert. Head is always on a swivel, mainly yeah. because you're fucking walking in circles. Yeah. On weed. No, no, no. No social awareness nah, whatsoever. Nah, none, nah, none. Nah, none. None. And at this time, your mushrooms had worn off, and you were just kind of high on edibles at this point, weren't you? I was. It was about 50 50 at this point in time. But generally, also at that point, you're still. That's like a loopy you. So yes. you're still not socially aware of what's no, fucking no, happening. No, no, no. I'm pretty. I, I was pretty stony baloney because yeah, yeah. I was trying to be able to go to sleep. Yeah. And I was like, well, I hope he didn't get pushed and somebody took his food on mill. And also. Were uh, you just picturing me laying in the side of the street? Yes. I didn't know what was happening, but also that was like me. I had just woken up. My edibles were still hitting me. Like, can I ask you mom, a question? The first thing mom said was, "Dad's not in the hotel room." Can I ask you a question? No, I mean, look, you're gonna ask. Do you really think that you would get? You've now toured with me for a minute. Yeah. How how am I on drugs? Do I have my shit together? You're you're pretty you're pretty good at it. Yeah. That's that's why I was like I was like okay well I was like hold on let me. I was like, you, she was like, I'm going to go down to the front desk and see if they had seen him at any point in time. And I go, okay, that's a great idea. And, she, and then I hang up and I sit and I call your phone. I probably, I called you probably about four times in a row, hoping that the constant vi like vibrate would wake you up or wherever you are. I figured you were sleeping somewhere in the hotel. I was like, he's either downstairs on a couch or he's like, he had to have gotten the second room. Like, there's no other way. Like, what? why he wouldn't be in that hotel sleeping right mm -hmm. now. doesn't make any sense. And so I called you a bunch of times and then I was like, babe, can I track him? She goes, does he, does he share his location? I go, no. She goes, do you know his iCloud email and password? I go, yeah. Uh, yeah, actually I do. She goes, how? I go, it's my email and password. Like he has our original iCloud account was set up through my email, mm -hmm. which is why the dick pic shit happened. Mm -hmm. Ladies and gentlemen, mm -hmm. I got roped into that somehow. I yep. tricked, bamboozled. You know what I'm Hoodwinked saying? Hoodwinked, even. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hoodwinked, especially. Yeah. But so I was like, yeah, I actually do know all that. And she goes, great. And she sent me a link to find my iPhone. So I typed in the Apple ID and iCloud. And I was like, I'm going to track this motherfucker. I'm going to see where he's at. And since you didn't have your precise location on, which is a setting you have to have, uh -huh. when I when I brought it up, Hey, hold on. I'm going to, Matt, I'm going to send you the picture that I took. And it was just a circle around the city of Tempe yeah. that said, this iPhone is located somewhere in this area. <laughs> and I was like, well, he's still in Arizona. Yeah. So that's yeah. cool. Or at least his phone is. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I was like, well, he's still in Tempe, I guess. And like, like, I don't know if like, can he'll post it. Yeah, like, I, like, like this is the picture I got. It's yeah. just a circle of the city of Tempe, and it's like, yeah, I was in there. I was in that circle, and I, I sent it to mom, and I was like, well, he's still in the city at least, and she just kind of laughed, and then she, after I'd done all that, I, it said there's a button on when you go to find iPhone that says play sound, and so you can like play it if you find it, like if you're near it, it'll play a sound, so you can go find it. So I'm thinking again, he's sleeping somewhere. So I'm going to play this sound like an alarm and hope it wakes him up. So I played it. I stopped it. I played it. I stopped it. And then, and then I don't know, fucking probably 10 minutes later, or no, no, five minutes later, mom calls me. She's like, all right, I just went down to the front desk. And I was like, did it? I was like, what took you so long to get? I was like, that was like 25 minutes ago. She goes, yeah, I stopped on every single floor and walked around. Every, I walked up and down each and every hallway to make sure your dad wasn't high sleeping in his underwear. She thought I was in my underwear walking around the hotel. I mean, look, granted, drugs does do that to some people, but you're not those people. <sighs> no. I'm walking around in my underwear? Well, you're a, a grown-up. You're a pretty professional drug user. Thank you. Like, I, I will give you your flowers for yeah, sure. You're, man. A, you're a pretty well-kept, kept-together Drug user. Fuck, fucked up and walking around in my underwear. That's not my MO. No. I'm no, not going to do that. Me either. No. No. It's, that's, not, that's not who we are. Because I'm also old enough now where I don't put, I don't ingest 
an amount to make you to that's that point. Right. That's and right. also, that sounds like zero fun. No. You want to have that memory? Like, no, I'm, I'm, do, I'm good. You want me to give you my rundown of the night? Well, hold up. Okay. Okay. And then five minutes after that, I decide to call my dad again. And I call him. And on the first ring, he picks up. And you were like, what's up? And I was like, where the fuck are you? And he goes, I'm in another room. And I was like, what? How the fuck are you in another room? He goes, it was really hot in our room. And your mom was sleeping. And I couldn't sleep. So I went and just booked another room just for me to sleep in the night. And I was like, all right. Did you see all the texts and calls? And you were like, yeah, I, I was getting to it. But you called me. So I figured I would... uh figured I would check it. And I was like, why don't you go ahead and call mom? <laughs> and you were like, and you were like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'll do that. I go, okay, I'll see you in the morning. And we hang up. And then I call mom. And I was like, I found him. She goes, what? I go, he's sleeping in another room. And she goes, yeah, I, I, I just talked to him. I go, yeah, I, uh, she was like, Jacob, I am upset with your father. <laughs> She was like, and I was like, mom, and I want to see you have the right, like, I get it. Like to, to go to sleep thinking your husband was there and then to wake up at 3am and to see him not there, but knowing he just did some mushrooms and practically could have fallen out of a moving elevator had the door been open and he just fell right into a wall prior to going inside. Like, I, I get it. Like your husband was there and then he wasn't. It was some fucking magic. Listen, first of all, I told her I was leaving. Yeah. See, you said that also. And she responded to me. That part I didn't hear. Yeah. Okay. Let me just tell you my night. First of all, it was one of those Jurassic Park mushrooms. Oh, I was there. Um, and I was like, I'll take it after the show and I'll be a little high, but I think I should be fine. Yo, on the, on the drive home, you know what? I, I, here's what I can tell mushrooms are going to be fun. It makes everything kind of darker and almost like cocoony for me. Uh, it was like, and the the it, everything felt super cozy and warm. It was, I, it was like I was walking around in a warm hug. It was just like I was like, hey! And so we're riding in the car. The music was perfect. I, you, her shuffle's good. Dude, or not shuffle, but her playlist. I was. It was honestly. One of the best highs I've ever had. That's fun. It was so warm and friendly. The music was great. And uh, we get back to the hotel. I don't remember a whole lot about the ride, except how much I enjoyed the music and the vibes. And we get back to the hotel. And, um, you know, we take the ride up the elevator. I, I bang my head on the door pretty good, <laughs> laughing it up. I had a little bruise the next day. Pretty Super funny. funny. Yeah, dude, I hit that door hard. Yeah, it wasn't light. We get back to the hotel room, and I'm laying on the bed the wrong way, like so horizontally to the vertical. Oh, oh at yeah, the yeah. bottom of the bed on the covers, eyes closed. Eyes closed on mushrooms is like a whole different. Your your brain just takes you wherever you want to go. Right. And I'm just sitting there. I, I think a blob face down, just vi complete in my own world vibing. Um, I think your mom had been trying to talk to me, but I think I was out in the, in the outer space. Mushroom land. Yep. When she got into bed, I was such a blob. She got into bed and when she pushed her feet down to the bottom of the bed, it <laughs> knocked me <laughs> off the bed. <laughs> So I fucking floop, floop on the ground. Ugh. I get into bed and I'm like, I'm just going to take some melatonin and try to power this to sleep. So I took probably 60 milligrams of melatonin. Cheapest. And, and uh, I'm just getting hot. And That's I, a lot. I can't, you know, I'm fidgety in bed. And I'm, I'm yeah. starting to be less mushroomy. You couldn't turn the AC on? Uh, for whatever reason, I was just running hot. I'm getting less mushroomy and more high on an edible. So I'm getting a little fidgety. The, the melatonin spart starting to get there. Uh, I, I can't sleep. I can't go in the living room and sleep. There's no blankets in there. So I tell your mom, I'm like, hey, I'm going to go get into the room. I got to be able to watch. Because she didn't want to watch SportsCenter. Right. That's what puts me to sleep. Yep. Dude. 
So I get downstairs and, I, and I'm high. And I'm sure I look high, right? Right. And I, I'm wearing the outfit of somebody who just stole one of everything from everybody's room. <laughs> Dude, it is like the worst hodgepodge. Of, I love it. And I walk up to the woman and I go, hey. I go, I, I have a room, but I need another room. But just till tomorrow. And you can charge me for the room. But I just need another room to sleep in tonight. And she goes, okay. And she starts to... And she's just typing and typing and typing. And, 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 and I... You know what? When you're taking mushrooms, you're not rude or... No. And I think I was said a very... And we. I go, I go, I'm sorry. I should have asked. Are there rooms available? And she goes, will you let me do my job? And I was like, uh, I don't like to be chastised when I'm high or on mushrooms. I don't like to be chastised, period. And I was like, oh, she was like, it's hard for me to really do my job if you're just standing here. And I was like, what am I supposed yeah, to do? I, I was like, okay, I'll stand over on that side of the fucking lobby. So I went and stood on the, dude, I, because I was high. I went and stood on the other side of the lobby like I had just been put in timeout. <laughs> and and then um, I was fucking... I was like, I don't want to walk back over there and ask her. <laughs> that, lady's, I, that lady's me. Yo, dude. She... But then she looked at me and she waved me over. She goes, I'm ready for you. And I was like, oh my God. And I walked up to her and she said, you can have this room for free for the night. Be out of there by 11 a.m. Oh. And I right. was like, okay. She redeemed herself. She felt bad for when your you. mom went downstairs. She said to the woman, "Hey, I can't find my husband." And the lady behind the counter goes, "Wolf." <laughs> <laughs> and your mom was like, "Yeah, how'd you know that?" And she she said, "Yeah, I ran into him earlier tonight." <laughs> So I'm I'm assuming I slurred it up a little more than I, what I just said to you. Oh, you were probably a I very was, a very memorable guest. Oh, at the dude, front desk. I know for sure only one of my eyes was working. Yep. Now by that time of the night, with that many drugs in me, my right eye closes. Plus the melatonin. Oh, dude, oh, yeah, my right eye out. straight up. You closes. were half asleep. Oh, dude. I, I I my brain was my body was like hey, but my <laughs> brain was like Eep. so when I was asleep in that room. Because sports center, sports sports center will put me to sleep in the first sports <laughs> sports center, sports center, sports center, sports <laughs> center, sports center, sports center will put me to sleep in the first 10, 15 minutes. I I, I find that show to be so boring. It takes uh, less than yeah yeah yeah. That. I, I, yeah. Mostly because and, and look, man, I, I used to like it a lot, but I find the anchors to be exceedingly boring now. So it's great for sleep. And so um, I uh, I fall asleep and. The only thing that woke me up, dude, was your, the beeping. The texts weren't waking me up. The calls weren't waking me up. It was that fucking beep. It was like an emer a test from emergency broadcast. Oh, it system. was loud. I know how loud that sound is, and I know it's startling. So I was like, if he's anywhere near it, he's going to... I thought a fire alarm was going off. <laughs> I was like, oh, I got to go down and get your mom. And I was like, oh, it's my fucking phone. And then I looked, and there was like 70 texts from your mom and about two from you. No, just one from you that said, yo... Where you were at? Yeah, 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 yeah. I could tell you were not worried. You're a grown ass man, yeah. dude. Like you're you're a grown human being. I'm not, and I don't drink, so I'm not, I don't lose my faculties like that. No, and and, and if again, I'm gonna take enough mushrooms to end up wandering around the streets, I'm gonna take it around other people, so I have a buddy system. Yeah, you people. That's why you don't do drugs by yourself, unless you have the buddy system. I like, like and I don't like doing drugs by myself. Yeah, but you always have safe ways home and like back yes. door like you're in a controlled environment yes, yes. like you know what I mean like, yes. yeah yeah the, but buddy system is very important ladies and gentlemen always do drugs with a friend 